first amazing things with uh, Grandmaster Lam Yul Gwai, no one ever even raised their hands when, the, when they had a match with him. Before they can even raise their guard, they were already knocked out. Mm. And people were wondering how a guy like him can move in like, you know, six or seven feet when the guy can't even react to it and get hit, right? And, the, and Lung Yul Gwai was quite a big, solid man. You sort of think, how can he do that? You know, it's impossible because it's so slow. Um, and people in their conventional martial arts are working out that, you know, from, from his original stance here, that it's hard to move. And for you to make like six foot worth of ground would take a lot of time. So what we explain, and you see, like, like it's, it's like, say, Bill here, right? You know, like we, we're on guard position, we're ready to fight. So I'm out here, and it's about, you know, six foot between me and him, and if he's ready to sort of throw a punch, for me to be here, and throw that punch, what do you react? So why is that possible, right? Because all he had to do is like, a Wing Chun, jab like that. He only had to move two inches. I'm out here and I had to move a few feet, right? How come I can go from there into there in that short time? Because people think outside the square. How is it possible then to get acceleration that can beat the fastest punch, right? How can you get in there with your footwork quicker than someone can punch? We've got to think outside the square. See, what's in common with all those and most martial arts like that sort of punch, it starts from rest. Uh, it's like a car in the drag race. Zero to a hundred at maximum speed. What we're doing is the reverse. We want to start at 100 and then decelerate to zero. What we're doing is using potential energy, like your spring, to bang, go at maximum velocity to start and slow down. Because it's a short distance, you'll get there without much uh, wind resistance and like, because it's only a few feet. So basically, you're going at terminal speeds the whole motion, the other guy, even throwing a punch when the hand is faster than you know, the foot, he's going from north, north to 100, and he probably won't even reach 100 until you, know, you already finish your motion. So you're gonna get there a lot quicker, even though you are using your legs and not using the hand. Right? So that's what we're employing, and what is the source of the potential energy is what we've been training here. That's why this thing is so important. Yeah? Makes sense. Okay?